Kind of headline we thought had been relegated to the past, but a measles outbreak in Washington state continues to grow with five new cases every day there and new cases popping up now all over the country. So Nevada has only one confirmed case so far, but experts warn now is the time to check your vaccination status. Our Heather Mills explains the dangers. Marie Injun, this is important here. Experts say it is one of the most contagious viruses out there and it could take up to three weeks to even show symptoms. So think about that. Think of all the places a person goes in three weeks. The exposure potential here is huge. Considered eradicated in 2000, the measles is making an ugly comeback in states across the U.S. Typically, uh, outbreaks happen uh, in our country not because of something that started within the United States. It's typically foreign travelers who might not have been vaccinated who brought the vi virus in the country and then came in contact with someone who couldn't have had the vaccine or chose not to receive the vaccine. For those unprotected, herd immunity is what keeps them safe, says Dan Heller, the lead pharmacist for Smith's in Los Vegas. Because so many people have been vaccinated, we just protect each other. When that fails, outbreaks happen. If you have 10 people in this room that were exposed to measles that were susceptible, nine of those 10 are going to get measles. It's that infectious. Symptoms start with a high fever, runny nose, cough, then progresses to a rash. Experts say it's airborne and you're contagious before symptoms even start. You just want to get isolated. The CDC issuing a strong statement. Americans who are unvaccinated put themselves their families and their communities at risk for measles. Every state has vaccination mandates for children. Most, however, allow exemptions for religious reasons, including Nevada, though the Silver State is not one of 18, which allows exemptions for personal beliefs. We have a pretty good vaccina vaccination rate in our state. All right, so a lot of questions. Heller says if someone isn't sure that they're vaccinated, they can go ahead and get those two shots. But there is also an antibody test. So you can tell if you have immunity to the virus. So uh, important for all age groups, yeah. but more so for the younger ones because they're the ones who are likely the ones who haven't been vaccinated. Information that could save people's lives. Indeed. Yeah. Heather, thank you.